Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. So today it is a special day because we are starting a new series which is going to be called How About No? So these are going to be videos in which I will talk about the products or things I bought or I received that I didn't like and up until now I was only talking about things that I liked and I gave the products I reviewed 5 stars or I recommended them to you but I would also like to talk about the things that I didn't enjoy and I don't recommend and I think it is very important for me to present those to you as well. I watched a ton of other videos here on YouTube titled products I regret buying and I think they are super amusing and fun and yeah, that's my shot. So I hope you enjoy and by the way, uh, if these products are working for you, that's great, but for me, they don't work. But if they are working for you, that's great for you and you keep using them, okay? So that's just a quick disclaimer and now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I regret buying is a sunscreen and it is a sunscreen from La Roche-Posay it is their uh, La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL uh, SPF 50 plus fluid and it comes in a, such a little bowl, a tube of 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. Uh, it costs around 17 euros I'd say and it comes uh, as a clear liquid or it also comes in a tinted version but I got the clear one and it's just it's a, it's, it was a disaster. So I bought this sunscreen last summer when I was in a hurry. Uh, I had to go to my school, if I remember correctly, and I was chasing a bus, but I also ran out of my sunscreen. So it was summer, I needed sunscreen, and I just had to go, I just had to stop by the pharmacy and buy a sunscreen, and I quickly uh, looked at this sunscreen because they had it, you know, on the shelf, so I just grabbed this and I went through the ingredients and I said, oh, it's, it's superb. But then when I come home and I try it, I mean, I put it on before, but then at home I try it on again and it was just like smelling a bit weird, a bit like medicinal stuff. I turned the packaging around, I mean the box, and alcohol was on the third place. Yeah, that was great. It was drying out my skin like crazy and I hated it, okay? I broke out because of that, because my skin got destroyed by alcohol and I don't recommend this, okay? The texture is lovely. Let me show you just quickly. Okay, so first you have to shake it. It has one of those like balls inside and then you shake it and then you open it and it's very fluid. Let me show you. It's a very lightweight fluid. So the texture is amazing and it sinks into your skin very quickly. But that's the problem because it contains so much alcohol. So the alcohol dries out and it evaporates but with it it also destroys your skin. So I cannot use it and a lot of other people told me that they broke out and that it's kind of too stripping so it's not usable and I find that with a lot of La Roche-Posay sunscreens uh, I mean I like La Roche-Posay because they do have some great products but this sunscreen is just not one of them. The UVA protection is like 34 like the SPF equivalent for the UVA is 34 which is great but I hate it. Next Okay, so this next product was an epic fail and it is the Balioman Sensitive Rosier Creme, which means sensitive shaving cream, okay? And I read the ingredients and I see a lot of uh, soap-like ingredients in it. So a lot of shaving creams uh, have these soap-like ingredients, so they will foam up uh, and kind of build this, you know, cream, but that's a very big problem because they are highly alkaline and very stripping and they will wash your face so thoroughly that you will have like no skin afterwards okay <laughs> so um, when I shave with this and then I wash my face and I dry up 
my skin is so dry that nothing makes my skin so dry, okay? If I were to squeeze a couple of lemons on my face and then wash my face with it, it wouldn't be so dry as with this. This is just a catastrophe, not a good product, okay? This will go into the trash ASAP. And do you know what's the worst with this product? That I knew that it contained so harsh ingredients and I still bought it. I don't know what's with me. Sometimes I go to the drugstore or uh, any kind of a store and I look at the product and I know, oh, this is so terrible. But then it says sensitive and I think, hmm, maybe I should give it a go. Just money wasted and your skin wasted. Don't do that, okay? I'm such an impulsive buyer. I have to get better with this. Goodbye. So the next thing I regret buying is this Neutrogena hand cream and it is their Norwegian formula hand cream. This hand cream was very, very highly hyped a few year years ago. I can remember there were like a thousand different ads made for this hand cream and for this line Norwegian formula like body moisturizers and so on. So I thought, uh, okay, it's winter and I need a hand cream, why not give it a go, right? And on the packaging it said that this is good for 300 uh, like uses because it's so highly concentrated. Um, I used up hmm, maybe two uses and there is still 250,000 left because I won't be using this anymore. This is such a simple hand cream that it doesn't do anything for my hands. It contains only water, glycerin, a bunch of fatty acids and then some emulsifiers and uh, preservatives, so parabens and perfume, so that's it. It doesn't do anything special for me. It doesn't have any vitamins, it doesn't have any antioxidants, it doesn't have any butters, like shea butter. These give me an oil or something, but no. Uh, I, I don't recommend this. There are far better hand creams in the drugstore and this is just... I don't recommend it. Next! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so the next product is also an epic fail. I don't know what I was thinking. So here we have a couple, a pair of Alverde Natur Cosmetic uh, like self tanners. Okay, Alverde is a natural kind of organic line of the DM store and last year or two years ago actually I was looking for a self tanner because I don't go out in the sun and I want to be kind of a bit more bronzy, a bit more tan, not, nothing too crazy. So yeah, I went to the drugstore and I asked the lady uh, which is their best selling and most popular self tanner and she gave me a pair of these and I looked at the ingredients and uh, in the first moment I noticed the, that the cream and the lotion both had a big amount of uh, alcohol inside but I thought to myself mm, okay so I will put this on maybe once a week and then I, I could be able to get away with this and they also contain uh, quite a bit of fragrance all these fragrant ingredients which cause a lot of allergies but I wasn't allergic to those. I thought, oh, but they are so popular, they must be great, right? So I bought them, I go home, I go into my shower, I shower, I exfoliate, I'm very clean and ready to put these on. I put these on, this on my face, this on my body, evenly. I am very careful about my elbows and about my hands and all about all these joints and these tricky areas. I go to bed, I wake up, I look like an orange. I don't know how different self tanners develop different kind of hues of colors and tans, but these two are definitely not worth buying because they will turn you orange, especially if you have uh, fair skin. I didn't test this on like darker skin, but maybe you could try it and let me know if you love it. For me, for like white, white, white skin, fair skin, they are just not suitable in my opinion. <laughs> Funniest thing about these self-tanners was that I uh, went to school uh, after a couple of days and of 
course, the tan was still uh, like present. Uh, and by the way, the, these soft tanners will last uh, about five or seven days before uh, you have to reapply, and they fade nicely. They don't leave any kind of streaks. So maybe try it if you have a darker skin. But anyways, I go to this uh, to my school, and my schoolmates are like. Oh, there, there's something different about you. Do you have a new hairdo? Like, you know, pretentiously like lying about it that they don't know. So what's different about you? And I tell them, well, I have a soft tanner on. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It suits you so nicely. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> it, you don't have to lie, okay? Just say it. Just say that I look like an orange and it's going to be okay, okay? My verdict, don't buy these if you are very fair. Uh, I will try some other self tenders, uh, see how I put it on and how the color develops and then we will see which are good and which are bad, but these are definitely not worth your money. Throw them away. The next how about no product is this Nivea Styling Cream, cream gel. Uh, this, frankly and honestly, is the worst hair care product I have ever tried. I bought this because I am always looking for a um, hair product, a wax or a cream or a gel, which will hold my hair backwards uh, just as I have it now. But uh, a lot of hair care products contain a lot of alcohol and when I use those on my hair, they get all, you know, weak and they started breaking up and splitting, I was trying to find a, a product which didn't do that, which didn't contain alcohol but was a bit more creamy, a bit more waxy and I was looking at this one and this as far as I can see doesn't have any alcohol uh, so I bought it but this, this doesn't hold anything. This just makes my hair greasy although it has a 3 out of uh, a 5 for like its performance or strength how much it holds like do you see how creamy this is this is just a straight up cream for your hair it, it smells nice but otherwise it, it doesn't do anything like I put this on and I want to wash my hair it's so bad so if you are trying to find a hair gel or a hair wax don't buy this one just Okay, we only have two more How About No products and they are both makeup products. The first one is this concealer by Art Deco or Art Deco, I don't know how you call it. I think it's Art Deco. As I've told you guys in my past videos, I'm always looking for uh, concealers because I only use concealers for my makeup, when, so when I film or when I have a speech or so on. And um, I went to the drugstore and I asked the ladies uh, which is a great concealer, a great no makeup concealer, but that would still kind of correct and conceal my uh, under eyes. And they all recommended this one, and it was also on sale. Otherwise, it cost around 12 euros, but then it was on sale for 8 euros, and I bought it. And look at it, it's just so sleek and so like pretty. Like, you see this packaging, it is one of those pan like concealers, and you just twist it on the bottom and it comes out. Wait, let me show you. So, you just go like this, don't twist too much on the bottom because then you will get a volcano. Okay, this is how it looks. Can you see it? Okay, yeah, now if I blend it, it's so low coverage like the coverage is very light like no makeup makeup coverage i mean it does help but i find that it sets into my fine lines and wrinkles and it's not very long lasting and it's expensive for what it is so i didn't like it compared to my essence concealer it's just not worth the money and you get how much do you get i think you get 1.2 grams and the essence one is 7 grams and this costs 8 euros and that one costs uh, 2 euros and that one has better coverage and better stay and better performance and like no this is just a waste of money just buy the essence one and you will be much happier okay and now the last product that i regret buying is this essence eyeshadow in the color 01 snowflake 
You guys know that I love Essence products because they are very cheap, affordable and most of them are very good, like acceptable quality and some products are very good quality, but this eyeshadow is just terrible. Usually most of these Essence eyeshadows are great, but do you know those products which have multiple colors and then some colors perform better than other colors? Uh, this is one of that, those products. So I bought this eyeshadow for my sister and I bought also two more eyeshadows from Essence. Wait, let me show you. I bought this one in 01 Snowflake. Then I bought uh, this pink one in, in the number 20 Rosy Happiness. And then I also bought this one in the number 17. Uh, sorry, in the number 17. Uh, no cream, no sugar. They are the same formula or kind of the same line of eyeshadows But this white one just doesn't perform as well as the other two and let me show you why So if we take this rosy one and we swatch it, it's very pretty. It's kind of like shimmery metallic It's a nice eyeshadow, but now we take this white one So snowflake when you apply it initially it looks great. It's like a whitish kind of metallic shine almost like a highlighter but then when you take the blender brush and you blend it let me show you now I blended both colors and this one is just so faded that I almost don't see it anymore I'm very disappointed by that otherwise these two uh, hold up very nicely and they uh, stay on your skin on your eyeshadows for uh, quite a long time but this one just disappears at the first stroke by the brush so it's I mean I'm not impressed and I regret buying it okay guys so this was the last how about no product and we are done I hope you enjoyed this how about no video and let me know if I should make some more of these and yeah this is it I hope you have a nice day and a nice week and I'll see you soon bye bye